I went down to Keene District Court today to deliver a letter to Judge Burke addressing my concerns about his actions yesterday in court, arresting Ademo and Derek also. Um, but I was told that I could not deliver it to him. I could give it to the person behind the counter who would read it and then throw it away. So I would just like to share it. Judge Burke, I am writing to inform you that I, along with many others, am very unimpressed with your actions. First, to order that someone be held in a cage for five days because they did not remove an article of clothing at your whim is inhumane. Also, the fact that you are a judge does not negate that you are an individual human being. Adam Miller had every right to communicate with you as an individual rather than just a judge. Asking you questions regarding the morals of a previous decision does not in any way justify your orders to arrest Adam and charge him with a felony. Improper influence. Any influence that induces or tends to induce a government employee or officer to give consideration or to act regarding a government action on any basis other than the merits of the matter. By asking questions and trying to make you consider your actions based on the merits or rights and wrongs of the matter should not fall into the category of improper influence in the first place. It is wrong of you to have a peaceful person put in the cage for multiple days awaiting a hearing because he wanted to have a direct conversation with you regarding your actions. It is inhumane, just as it would be if you attempted to lock me up and charge me with a felony for writing you this letter. Your salary is paid through taxes, which are paid by members of the community. Therefore, members of the community have the right to express their concerns or notify you when they are dissatisfied with your actions. Please take the time to consider, based on the merits of the matter, that peaceful, nonviolent people are sitting in jail and wasting taxpayers' money. Adam should be released, as should the man sentenced for wearing a hat. I hope that you will honestly consider the negative impact your decisions have made on other individuals' lives. Sincerely, Katherine Ager.